Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, some of you might think that we could file this under the yeah, so what category, but uh, Sears Holdings Corporation plans to close 63 more stores early next year as the retailer works to cut costs and rebuild its business to overcome steep sales declines. Now, of the closures planned in late January, 45 are Kmart stores and 18 are Sears stores. Now, store associates were told about the closures Thursday and will be eligible for severance pay, Sears said in pre prepared remarks. Uh, the company said liquidation sales at these locations will start as soon as November 9th, and you can bet the crowds will be rolling in then. Uh, the company operates roughly 1,250 Sears and Kmart locations. Now, Sears in March raised doubts in a securities filing about its ability to keep operating after seven years of losses. Now, the retailer sold Craftsman Tools earlier this year to Stanley Black & Decker Incorporated for $900 million. It also ended a century-old partnership with Whirlpool Corporation as the two companies failed to agree on terms for selling Whirlpool appliance brands. Now, Sears reached a deal earlier this year for its Kenmore appliances to be sold through Amazon.com Incorporated. So, and you may think, yeah, what's the big deal? Uh, this is, I'm not so much sure that this is a sign of telling you, despite what the stock market would tend to make you think, uh, the, the economy has been in a free fall for some years now, and it's been a slow free fall. It has not been a sudden free fall, but this is also an indication, too, that, that uh, the average shopper, I believe, pr prefers to shop online. Maybe this is more of a cultural issue, if you think about it. I mean... You shop online, you don't have to go out to these stores and, and deal with other people. You haven't got to rub elbows with the great unwashed, with with uh, Joe Public. But we need to, folks. We need to rub elbows with Joe Public. We need to be able to interact and communicate with each other because events are coming, folks. Events are coming possibly where you won't be able to shop online anymore, possibly where you won't be able to get online anymore, and you're going to be forced to deal with people. <laughs> now, I mean, maybe I'm over-extrapolating this, but this is not a good sign. Uh, I mean, I have memories of Sears and Kmarts and shopping malls and, and uh, Orange Julius and uh, bookstores uh, where you have to go buy paperback books. In many ways, folks, those were better days. But um, you can draw from that what you will. This is, this is important. I'll leave you a link to this. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you please to check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. Um, you can get it in paperback like the old days for $7.99, but the Kindle's only $1.99. And if you are signed up for the Kindle Unlimited program, you can read it for absolutely free. America, it's getting dangerous. And this book is about the danger right now that we are facing. This book is about right now. So much of what you see and what you don't see going on in America and around the world. Uh, there's a guy right there in that image that looks like George Soros. Could there be a character based on him in this story? Oh, I don't know. You'll have to read it. Um, gritty, edgy timely end times christian fiction that's not at all fluffy folks uh this this is the real deal uh, i suggest you check it out if you would you can read chapter one for free it's called fake news that's also linked below below the uh, link to the book uh you'll meet independent news reporter dave jameson now i'd ask you folks if you haven't subscribed to my channel oh, don't forget the music there's music down there as well too of mine <laughs> Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led. And most importantly, dang it, I'm not going to get this in at four minutes or under. I blew it. But most importantly, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.